Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry about the lack of uploads lately. Um, so since I've been trying to upload, a big multi-billionaire media company out in the UK keeps striking down my videos for no reason when they're 100% within fair use. And these are clips I'm pulling off of other channels and I always give credit down in the description. So thank you guys. If you guys still watch these videos, um, please engage with them, like, comment, subscribe. If you do like these videos, um, and I'm going to do more. And I'm going to start off by um, doing a new series on this channel. <clears throat> uh, what happened to player, and then just insert an X there. Um, maybe players who have had a good career, but kind of just flown under the radar for a little while or been retired. Or players who were stars in college who might just not have made it in the NBA or the NFL. Today we're going to be looking at Caleb Swanigan. I was looking for him on a roster the other day and could not find one, find him on one. So with that being said, um, you know, let's just get into it. I'm going to run you through a little backstory and then we're going to see what he's up to now. Um, Caleb was born on April 18th, 1997 and grew up in Indianapolis in an unstable environment where his dad was a drug addict and his mom had several other kids. And he would stay in homeless shelters in Utah and Indianapolis during his uh, time as a child. Caleb Swanigan's dad was six foot eight, 500 pounds when he died in 2014 due to diabetes. And Caleb was 360 pounds and six foot two entering the uh, eighth grade. With that being said, Caleb said that he described his bad eating as a product of his environment eating cheap foods like sodas, um, things that are unhealthy, that are cheap. And he says that he didn't like snacks. He liked cakes, desserts, ice cream, stuff like that. Caleb actually goes by the name Biggie, who was given it, he was given that nickname by his aunt. And his aunt would often sing him the song, Biggie, 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 Can't You See? Now, when Caleb's mom moved the family from Utah to... But Caleb's brother and his dad shared the name Carl, Carl Sr. and Carl Jr. Carl Jr. was concerned that when Caleb moved to Utah that he would keep gaining weight. And so he called a former AAU basketball coach in the area named Roosevelt Barnes. Roosevelt was a former three-sport star at Purdue and played on that Final Four team. He lived in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and he agreed to take Caleb in and adopt him and raise him as his own son. Barnes adopted Swan again prior to his eighth grade year and he addressed Caleb's eating issues. And after receiving clearance, he began working him out and putting him through workouts that Barnes himself went through in college. Caleb, by the time he left high school, he was 260 pounds down from the 360. As a senior, Caleb was named Indiana Mr. Basketball and led his high school homestead to the first ever state title. And he was ranked as a top 20 recruit and a five-star prospect and was named the McDonald's All-American. April 10th, 2015 but decommitted on may 7th the rumor was that Izzo wanted to use caleb as a true center and not let him stretch the floor as a four on june 22nd 2017 caleb swanigan was drafted by the portland trailblazers in the first round with the 26th overall pick on february 7th 2019 caleb was traded in exchange for scale levisier uh, from the sacramento kings a year later, on January 20th, 2020, Caleb was traded back to the Portland Trailblazers along with Trevor Ariza and Wyan Gabriel exchange for Ken Bazemore and Anthony Tolliver with two uh, second round picks. At the end of the 2020 season, Portland would actually cut Caleb Swan again. And in mid-December, a couple days ago, he'd be found with 3.5 pounds of weed and uh, about $4,000 in cash on him driving in Indianapolis. During his time in college, he was a first ten, uh, All-American Big Ten freshman, a first-team All-Big Ten in 2017, the Big Ten Player of the Year in 2017. The, he won the Big Man Award in 2017, and All-American Consensus First Team in 2017. Now, Caleb's career in the NBA did not turn out anything great. He played in 75 games, averaging 2.3 points a game, 2.9 rebounds a game, and 7, 0.7 assists a game, which is not very good and is very underwhelming. I don't think that a team's going to pick up Caleb Swan again, and I, um, I wish him the best. I wish he would stay out of trouble, but his story is a pretty good one, going from 360 pounds, slimming down, and having all this adversity against him, and still coming out on top 
If you guys want another video like this, please let me know who you would like to see next. And I can uh, look up some research and uh, see what they're up to. As for that, that's it. And uh, we'll see what happens if a team picks him up, if he goes overseas or if he's just done playing. And uh, thank you guys for watching.